Hey Jelly Babes, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be doing a design today inspired by Nailgasm TV and she did a design using um, round holographic dots. Uh, they were gold and silver so these ones are slightly different to what I'm using today but I just fell in love with the look as soon as I saw it. So I saw these from Glitter Artie and I, it was great if you brought four you got one free so I decided to try some of those. I just want to quickly add I am using this um, UV builder gel but it's not one that I I would recommend as in um, I haven't put it on my own nails so I don't know how safe it is how easy it is to remove I just got basically um, a cheap pot so I could practice this encapsulated glitter design so I just wanted to um, make you aware of that so I have got two coats of this gorgeous like it's a French manicure pink with a bit of a shimmer as my base coat and I'm going to um, be showing you on this nail on my hand just because I found a way so it didn't wriggle about. So what you want to do is take um, a thin layer of the Builder Gel and apply that to your nail. Don't cure it at this point because you want to add your glitters. So you want to start off with your bigger glitter first like so and kind of it can be like random but obviously I'm only doing like the tip of the nail so you just need to be a bit selective where you actually place things. So I actually took some off because I didn't want to use the white, I just didn't think that it would um, go. So once it's cured underneath your mat, matte lamp even you want to go ahead and apply another coat of the builder gel and obviously just make sure it's thin but because it's really thick and sticky it's going to really help with um, layering up the glitters so you want to go for like your medium sized glitters now and almost overlap them on top of each other so it's really easy to do you basically just keep adding them until you've pretty much covered wherever it is that you want the glitter to be covered and then you can use the really little ones um, you know to kind of have a rough shape of the French tip look that's what I'm showing you now and just keep moving it around until you're happy with where the glitter is placed okay so hopefully you can see that there and then if you wanted to add more you can but I'm just going to stop there and then you want to add one final coat of builder gel. Obviously it is a lot of layers but you do actually buff this down so don't worry it's not going to be a really big thick um, ugly tip to the nail. So once you've cured that you want to go ahead and remove the tacky layer so you're going to be able to buff the nail. And you want to just move off the edges and you know take your time in this process because you want the nail to be as smooth as possible because if you don't it will just you know you'll catch a glitter and then it'll come off and then the design's rubbish and like I say it will look dull and almost like you've ruined it but don't worry as soon as you wipe off the dust the shine and the hollow comes straight back so I wanted to show you this way so you can see that it's not a big thick ugly tip of a nail trying to do this design and then you want to go ahead once you're happy and apply a layer of top coat and cure it and she actually advised to apply two co coats of top coat so that's what I'm going to do today so it's going to be really really smooth okay and that is the design done if I put it underneath my macro lens you'll see how absolutely stunning this design is I mean look at the rainbow going on in those glitters it's a really cool design and I'm really really happy with the results so I've gone ahead and done that to all of the nails I really really like it I really hope that you like it too thank you so much for coming and checking my tutorial out and until next time bye jelly babes